All right, welcome to another video from the chart readers. A little busy of a work day, so I'm doing this during my lunch break, actually. Um, we are in the middle of live trading, so the day is not over yet. So you will probably see some percent moves um, as I speak. Really, there's only 20 minutes left, so I'm assuming nothing drastic will happen, and this should still be a pretty good video. Um, that said, look, we're gonna review the weed sector today. We're gonna do what we always do, right? We're gonna look at the daily and the weekly charts. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do manually draw. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD and the RSI as our lower indicators for that confirmation, right? So last video I made was on the 30th. So really 31st onward, it's been an interesting week, but really it's been chugging along with the eight, right? Um, once it broke this hundred right here, got some good days confirmation, really a monster pop, a little bit of a drop, don't get me wrong, right? But we at least never lost the, the hundred and the 20, which is great. Did lose the eight once, this day looks like it stayed over. But yeah, again, overall chugging with the eight, right? And that's, that's a beautiful thing. That is what we like using this thing for, right? Um, Today's a big day, right? Because it's obviously election day. I think that there's going to be some states that have some sort of legalization or some sort of ballot on it. And generally speaking, weed does pretty well in the elections, right? So there could be a pretty big pop from that. Again, there's been a pretty good sustained up already. And I actually thought we might come to the 200. We came pretty close to it. Let's be honest, right? We were down here on the last video. So, I mean, it made a good run. Obviously, we wanted to sustain and keep going. But, um, hey, you know what I mean? This good news could be something if we get the votes that we need, right? So, just watch it. That could be a nice little catalyst. But look, this is nice to see right here. This is called a golden cross. When a small one breaks open, breaks through a bigger one, so the 20 is breaking through the 100, that, that's a good thing, you know, something worth noting. And again, down here, I like that my green guy's popping out. That's great. Green is still over red. I wish the green line was a little more sloped up, but hey, we've seen the RSI get as high as almost 80, right? So plenty of room if this bad boy does want to go up. And really, if we can get over, you know, honestly, where are we? Where's 50% candle? 50% candle is about there. I'll say probably the top of this. Yeah, if we can get above 390, I think 390 could be a pretty interesting entry point if you have no money in this already. Um, again, that'll hopefully get you to 314, if not, uh, sorry, 4, wow, dyslexic, 417, otherwise 450, right? So again, 390 is the top of this guy. That could be an interesting place to enter really for what might be two little resistances before um, that, that 200 there. But overall, hey, this might be worth looking at. Again, we're nicely over the eight. That's, that's a beautiful thing, right? Look at this. This is a great weekly, right? Broke the eight here, broke the 20 here. Last week did well. So far, this is looking good. Interesting RSI. I, I kind of wish that was doing a little better, but hey, MACD still doing its thing going up, right? So um, I will take that. But yeah, if this can actually even get over this 405, oh man, a 405 break would be really nice. And that goes back to that 390 number that I used, right? I imagine this one's 405. Yeah, this is 407. So um, again, your risk tolerance right there, right? But 390, 405, those are two pretty good um, alerts or entry points for Tilly. So um, Tilray looking not too shabby following the eight. I love it. ACB, okay, so interesting, right? Last time we made the video, we were down here. The 31st just ripped it, right? Actually got over the 50 and the 100 on a single day. Came down to the eight and is trying to do the bounce back, right? Actually almost came down to the 20, but we'll, we'll basically say the eight, right? But that that's a pretty normal pattern, right? You break one, you come down to an old one, and then you hopefully break up. Definitely that fail right here is a little lackluster. That does suck, right? Um, ideally, it's a, it's a good bounce up. Definitely a lot of room in the RSI and it still can't do it, which does suck. Um, yeah, I think this hundred is just a, a little too tough for, um, and again, look, as I zoom out, it's been a real, 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 real long time since we've been on that hundred, right? So, 
Um, no easy feat, right? Um, and look, you can see the 50 had a lot of noise here, so that's why it was a lot easier to break here, but that 100 is still tough, right? So um, if this gets over the 100, that'll obviously be really good. And again, we just talked about the election stuff a minute ago, right? But um, for now, the 100 does seem like a real big wall. And again, the only reason the 50 has been a lot easier is the 50 used to be a real big wall until all this noise happened between August and, and basically September, right? So um, yeah, it looks like that might be happening here. Hopefully we do break it. Otherwise, you know, again, we have a one, two, three of a four out of the five lines. This is now a horizontal cluster, right? And we're going to go horizontal until it goes up or down. Hopefully elections, like I said, help it go up, right? But we want more than a one day pop. We want that confirmation. We know that, right? Um, look, you can see it on the weekly, right? Not as good a weekly as Tilray, and obviously that's why the daily is not as good as Tilray, right? If this had gotten over the 20, even on this week, it's only Tuesday, but still, that would have been nice. But um, staying horizontal on the weekly is going to give you horizontal on the daily, right? So um, I think enough said there. Um, Tilray looking better, obviously. So, oh man, look at this. Hot, I can't say horizontal trading much better than this i'm not gonna lie literally goes from the bottom to the top tries to break it but can't goes a little lower but basically you know trades with the bottom goes close to the top couldn't do it goes back to the bottom goes close to the top back to the bottom close to the top back to the this is horizontal trading on one, two, three, four out of the five lines, as good as I could say, one more time. Again, what's gonna happen? Ultimately, this is gonna break up really strongly or break down really strongly, especially how tight and how long this horizontal's been, right? Me personally, I don't, I don't buy this until it's made the move, right? Because that's how you swing. If this comes above the blue line and then it does it one day after, this bad boy will run a few days for sure. Because where's the 200? Jesus, the 200. Oh my goodness, right? And look, we've tested the 100. We've tested the 100. It could be broken if, if, the, if the juice is there, right? That said, if we lose this, we're coming down to here for sure, right? So you're either looking at a 20% drop from 10 to basic, well, a little, about 10%. But yeah, about a, about a $2 drop, roughly, that's 20%, give or take. Or you're looking at almost a 50% run up, right? And for a lot of people, a 50 up, 20 down is kind of an interesting risk reward, right? Just depends your risk tolerance, right? Are you betting rent on this thing? Are you betting fun money on this thing, right? So, um, but again, me personally, I will wait for the horizontal to decide before I do anything. But again, this just screams my point so much that I, I had to say it one last time. And look, we're kind of seeing it on the weekly, right? A little drastic, actually. You have an uptrend that's going, that's getting stopped by this wall, right? A lot of people talk about like wedges and patterns like that. I really don't play patterns because honestly, I think patterns are a little easy to mix up right? I don't know if this is an up wedge. I don't know if there's some inverted head and shoulders. Like I'm just making up words that I'm sa I've am seen in red, right? But for me, if a line breaks, there's no guess game, right? If you're a penny over, you're a penny under, or you're right on the line, you're either broken it, lost it, or you're just on it and we have to wait one more, right? This pattern might be a floating dove thing. Oh, that's a fake word right there, right? But you get the point. So I'm not gonna talk about wedges and things like that. All I'm gonna say is one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks out of probably 10, right? There's really only three I didn't count. All have been around on over, or over this 20 at one point, right? Is that gonna break it? Hey, at some point it might, right? You can only resist something so many times before it weakens. But I promise you, this daily can get ugly real quick if it wants, right? So just just play it. But I'm I'm a little optimistic overall, I think, because I'm actually assuming elections will go well. So um, Hexo, look, I've said it a couple times. Oh man, this is starting to get real horizontal right here again, right? 
we got away from the 17 cents, got real close to 19, 20 cents even at some point, right? But never really broke the 50 commandingly. One day it happened, it really seemed like everyone did well on the 31st. I think the 31st might've actually been the day that they said like the banking regulation stuff might happen. Just again, federalization news, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it was. But um, again, you can see it was a little pop, but definitely was nothing sustaining, right? This is actually kind of looking a little ugly. Today obviously was good. Hey, I mean, it's showing a negative day because yeah, compared to yesterday, it is technically negative. But this bad boy opened here and at least closed here, right? So that's why you're seeing a green candle even though it's negative compared to yesterday. Um, but look, we almost lost the 20. I'm glad we didn't because we do not want to come back to the 17 cents because I've said it. Look how far I keep zooming out. All of these days have basically been on or tested this 17 cent support. It really can only support so much before it breaks, right? So um, yeah, this 50 is just really struggling. Hopefully good election stuff helps with Hexo. But again, look, not the best of weeklies, right? Tilray was doing a lot better. Even ACB was doing a little better on the weekly, right? Um, this one obviously is over the eight on all these, right? But just not a good enough confirmation, right? Because again, confirmation means going up, not just, you know, this, right? So, um, yeah, Hexo, not too much more to say except avoid the 17 cent world as much as possible. And again, make sure you can see four decimals wherever you move your money. This is not my, this is not where I trade my money. All I'm using this for are my indicator stack. So, um, Hexo. CGC, come on, CGC. This one was writing the eight pretty well for a minute. I do remember that. Yeah, really, since this right here. Again, everyone popped on this 31st. I'm pretty sure it was that federalization thing from, from the Booker guy, uh, Cory Booker, I think. Might be wrong there, but whatever. Um, nonetheless, look, where are we at? We're under the eight for three days in a row. We're coming up on a, on a cluster, right? I've always said it's hard to break these. When you break them, they're nice, but... They're also hard to lose them, right? So this two lines plus my 306 manual line, I mean, look, if we lose this, we might come down here. I'll be honest. I think if we lose this, I doubt that the 20 will be strong enough to hold it, right? Just my personal opinion. Um, MACD is kind of curving down a little bit, right? It was clearly going up. It starts to flatten a little bit and it might be going down a bit. Obviously, that's not great there. It kind of looks like the green might be there, but I think I still see red on top. Either way, RSI is not, not good enough in any way, shape, or form, right? So really what matters for CGC is this 306 number. Cannot lose 306, that's for sure. This is actually a pretty good weekly, right? Broke the 20, actually good confirmation, right? I will take this as confirmation. Don't like the fact that it got this high and then slammed down here. Like that does suck for someone. Someone bought at around 390, yeah, and it came down to 320. That's that's not good, right? Um, however, yeah, this wasn't bad week over week. However, this is not that good, right? I need to be right here. I need to be at least, sorry, let me come here. What did this close at 329? Like I need to be at 330 by Friday, right? For me to just really feel like there's any sort of uptrend happening here. Because again, that's not a good RSI. It looks like the weekly might be cooling off. And I'm gonna zoom back real quick. This 20 is no joke, right? This, there really hasn't even been a break and fake on the 20. This is actually the first one, right? So the 20 is no joke and don't expect to break it on the weekly like it's nothing, right? And again, if the weekly is not good, your daily is gonna be all right at best, if not bad, right? So um, all that said, I'm a little worried about this 306 number, so keep that in mind. But hey, it's definitely a good profit between a couple weeks ago and today if you rode this up and selling at 306 and banking that is not a bad thing at, 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 at all. All right, that was not a stutter. That was just hopefully a stress, but I don't think it worked that well. <laughs> um, coming to Sandal. All right, coming to Sandal, boom, one more time, right? We've got a pretty tight wedge here. Sorry, I don't wanna say wedge, I wanna say horizontal cluster. Um, wedge is literally something we say we don't talk about. <laughs> 
Um, but look, we've got this going. We've got this going. We are either going to break up and make our way to the 100 or we're going to lose the 20, obviously this 220 line with it, and then work our way down. I like this RSI though. I like that we're peaking up. I like that the MACD is at least at zero and green over red. Um, Sandal obviously has the power to get some real good volume if it wants it, right? So any good news to the election could see a good pop here, right? However, we are not here for pops, right? We're, we're same story, just different line, right? Getting over the 50. There was one break and fake. There was one better break and fake. You know, maybe we'll get another break and fake, but hey, a good break and fake is still a little bit of profit if you play it well, right? But nothing's gonna matter till we really break the 100 and start going to the 200. That's gonna be a nice little play, right? But again, we've never even come close to the 100 yet, right? So overall, Sandal's got a lot to do, but there's definitely gaps to work its way up. But remember, what we want is if we can get over the 20, right? That's when you're gonna start to see some real good weeklies, hopefully, because just going back to Tilly, right? Let's go back to Tilly one more time. This is nice, right? It's just break the eight, break the 20, get confirmation up. Hopefully this week recovers, right? A good little election bump, right? Like there's still what is a nice break of the 20 in a sustained way up there, right? That's what I would love to see in Sandal before I make a move, right? A little more of this and then ride that, right? So um, just keep that in mind, right? It's an okay weekly. That's definitely over the eight, and this is actually better than last week, right? So, so far so good in terms of the eight. But again, will it sustain? Hey, worst case, it might just gap fill up to here, right? And then maybe work its way down 266. I could see 266 being a realistic place. And look, hey, it basically is a test of the 20, works its way down. So um, I'd say hold that number in your back pocket. A run from 230 to 266 is still about 10% though, so that'll take you like 250-ish, right? So um, yeah, 266, I think that's a good number. Otherwise, it would be the 100 right there at 272. So that is Sandal. Cron, C-R-O-N. Man, look, in a cluster, falls out, tries to come back, actually makes its way back up to the cluster, actually breaks the 200, but just couldn't get over 331. And let's be honest, right? Everyone popped on the 31st. I imagine if the news didn't happen, this thing was already kind of working its way down, right? So let's, let me do that again. Let me, let me zoom out a little bit because yeah, that makes sense. So we're definitely in a horizontal, we lose it, we come back into it. Nice run, and again, this was federalization news. We lose it, come back into it, come back into it. Right here, I went too fast right here. Come back into it, try to go. Don't get, again, if this was up here, it would have been a different story, right? But we start doing this downtrend, and again, everyone pops on the 31st, right? So really, all it did was just kind of extend it. But this looked like it was going that way already, right? So um, a lot of words in that. I didn't actually expect all that to come out. But basically, horizontal trading and losing it at its finest over this period right here especially, right? This might go down, and look, honestly, even if election news is really good, I think Quran and the Daily would be a good place to look because there are all five right here. And even really, really good news, I don't think will break all the way up. Because let's be honest, all we're really doing is adding a couple states. It's not like we're doing like crazy federal things on this, right? So, um, but see how much Cron can recover of this five moving cluster. Otherwise, if, if the election news isn't good enough, this bad boy's going down. It's definitely gonna come down to this otherwise, right? There's actually nothing stopping it from coming to 260, 259, and I'm sure if we go into the weekly, we'll see. Oh geez, are we at all time lows after 259? Oh man, I just have no lines after that. And we're, we're coming to the early days. We're actually coming to the IPO days. I'm gonna put one line under the IPO day. 236, 236 would be real bad to lose. Cause again, after this is lost, oh man, that first line might've been good. But basically once 209 is lost, that's a scary fall to what might be as low as one. 30 
And this zoomed out view, that's a real ugly RSI. Um, so yeah, be real, real careful with Cron actually. Um, and I would use Cron to start gauging a couple of the other ones actually. Um, last on the list, GNLN, Green Lane. So again, what happened? A horrible, horrible gap down because of a need to do financing. I'll say this much, it looks like there might be a recovery coming. What time is it? There's actually only two minutes left and we are a penny over the eight moving average. So unless a crazy thing happens in the next couple minutes, this is gonna close over the eight. That's not too bad an RSI. And hey, if you wanna, I mean, look, I would set an alert for the top of the 31st. Again, I do not have four decimals, so I can't give you the exact number, but whatever this close that on the 31st is your alert. If that breaks, that's gonna be a real, real pretty gap up to honestly what might be a buck 17, really might even be like 75 cents because that's kind of the, whole, the next whole number, right? And a lot of people would love to bank a 50% jump from 50 to 75, right? So Green Lane looks all right for what might be a short-term pop. All that said, you know how bad this weekly looks, right? We need to be well over here, if not obviously over the 20, like we've been saying the other ones, before we really make any sort of long-term hopes or play, right? But hey, I'll be honest, green lane, close over the eight, good little curl on the, on the RSI. I wish the MACD was a little better, but I'm at least kind of seeing a curve or at least a flattening out and hey, a good day, maybe tomorrow it started even more here, right? But watch Green Lane for what might be an interesting gap fill. Otherwise, the if, if we go lower than 45 cents, basically the close of, of the fourth, this bad boy is going even lower for sure, because I promise you things can keep going lower. This was longer than I intended to do, but again, just trying to squeeze one in at least. I hope you're learning.